Since time immemorial, land and water have constituted the basic elements essentially required for sustaining all forms of life. Great civilizations flourished on our planet Earth wherever these resources were in plenty to support agricultural crops and other production systems. Over a period of time, however, increased biotic pressures coupled with excessive exploitation and unscientific management of these natural resources has led to severe land degradation problems. Out of a total degraded land area of 121 million hectares in the country, ravines alone account for 3.6 million hectares across different states. Ravines cover approximately 0.40 million hectares of land in Gujarat, spread over the districts of Ahmedabad, Mehsana, Kheda, Anand, Badodara, Baroch and Surat along the major river systems. In order to conduct research and develop technologies and strategies for reclamation and the productive utilization of ravines and adjoining marginal lands along the Mahi River, a soil and water conservation research center was established by the Government of India at Vasad in May 1955. Later on, this research center, along with six other centers under the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India, were transferred to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research in 1967 and subsequently brought under the administrative control of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, in 1974. The Vasad Research Centre is located along the National Highway No. 8 near the Mahi Sagar River. The centre has a mandate for appraisal of ravine problems by conducting research on conservation of land and water resources and develop techniques and strategies for improving the productivity of reclaimed lands. The multidisciplinary team of qualified scientists at this centre has developed technologies for reclamation of ravines. The research centre has a well laid out research farm of 139 hectares area in ravine affected land along the right bank of the Mahi River for conducting research and demonstration on rain fed farming and agroforestry systems. The centre is well equipped with laboratories, a library, a seminar room, a meteorological observatory, a training hostel and lecture hall facilities to accomplish its mandate effectively. The thrust areas of research are covered through seven programs, namely Water Erosion Appraisal Mahi Ravine Region, Conservation Measures for Sustainable Production Systems, Hydrological Behaviour of Watersheds for Conservation Planning, Rehabilitation of Areas Affected by Mass Erosion, Participatory Integrated Watershed Management, Socio-Economic Analysis and Policy Development for Watershed Management, and Human Resource Development and Technology Transfer. The Center has developed and evaluated technological options for arresting extension of ravines and their reclamation, as also improving productivity of the rain-dependent production systems in the Mahi Ravine region. The Centre has developed Soil Erosion and Soil Loss Tolerance Limit maps of Gujarat State. These maps show that despite relatively low average annual rainfall, water-induced erosion is a serious problem in the region. Over the years, the Research Centre has evolved a number of cost-effective, resource-conserving technologies for reclaiming degraded ravine areas and their productive utilisation. We are working through village institution for ravine reclamation. And this ravine reclamation, we are collaborating with Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute based at Vasat. Mainly the techni technology has been given uh, by uh, the Vasat uh, center. Uh, and uh, we are implementing through village institution in this uh, Mahi ravines. In an alternate land use system, a drumstick based agri horti system comprising of drumstick with green gram followed by fennel, was found to be highly remunerative as compared to the traditional monocrop of tobacco cultivation. This technology saves irrigation water by about 70 to 100 percent, enriches the soil and enhances productivity by two to four times. 
For protective cum productive utilization of ravine beds and adjoining sloping lands, planting of bamboo and anjan grass is an effective and economical measure. This has reduced the annual soil loss from 20 tons per hectare to less than 1 ton per hectare and has produced about 6 to 8 tons per hectare of green fodder from ravine sloping areas and 10 tons per hectare from interspaces of bamboo. Harvesting 30% of the old clumps of bamboo from the seventh year onwards generates an income worth Rs 6,000 to Rs 27,000 per hectare per year depending upon local conditions. In the 40 sector, in the 15 years, there are Urukshu Sirmandi and Urukshu Rupaya. In the 10 sector, there are Rupaya. And in the 10 sector, there are दर सुरक्षण माटी केंद्र ना सहयोग थी हमें दर सेक्टर में और वास रुपए आ चें अन ये ना थी हमने गणों सफरता मड़ी चें वास अन्य गास्ती माटी नो दोवन अटके चें अन्य आर्थिक रूप से अपन कुनी सुधारना चें। To increase the groundwater recharge in arid and semi-arid regions, cost-effective recharge filters have been designed for arable and non-arable lands. For the hard rock region of Gujarat. Recharging abandoned dug wells with these low-cost options can withstand the basic needs of the region. अभी फिल्टर जो वासस वासद रिचर सेंटर ने लगा अनुसंधान केंद्र ने तब से हमारे कुएं में दो बरस से पानी अच्छा चलता है और कपास, तमाकू, दिवेला इसको पानी हम देते हैं अच्छी तरह से. The centre has undertaken several programmes sponsored by various central and state government ministries such as the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Rural Development, Ministry of Water Resources etc. for the effective dissemination and demonstration of developed technologies at farmers' fields following watershed approach. ये जमीन में मैं आ नवाजे जमीन संरक्षण सुधारना अपना तो मुख्य वासन तरफ थी ते हम आप रिव्यू जलपुर पंचायत में जे आ कम मुख्य ये हम मैं आ एक लाभ लिदो तो अने ये लाभ में माने के खेत तलावड़ी बनिया पी पची जमीन जे जे दुआ थी थी ये जमीन ना ऐना पारा सिड़ा उपना जे पारा बनिया पिया इला� ये बदु बिल्कुल बंद थे यू अन्य अनु पानी जैसे छिल्ले खेतर में थी पारा पद्धति थे सिद्धू खेत तलावड़ी में आजा अन ये नहीं ये पानी मारे अन्य डॉगर नहीं खेती करवा मो सिंचाई करवा में कमला गया जा तो ये ना थी आपने वो सारो उत्पादन मली रहे अन आपरु खातर जो दुबई जाए ये जतु व्यर्थ तो � resulted in a crop yield increase to the extent of 44 to 179% over traditional practices, raising the net return by 94%. This raised the on-farm investments by 28 to 112%. Similarly, at the Antisar watershed, the crop yield increased by 14 to 49%, raising the agricultural income by 10%. This increased the on-farm investment by 7%. Casual employment of 51,461 man days was generated in this watershed. The centre conducts tailor-made short courses of one to two weeks duration in the field of soil and water conservation, agroforestry and watershed management, sponsored by the central and state governments, autonomous bodies and NGOs. A one-month summer practical training program is also imparted for undergraduate engineering students deputed by various state agricultural universities. The research center collaborates with the state agricultural universities and other R&D organizations, developmental departments, NGOs and other agencies working in the region for promoting resource conservation and maintaining ecosystem integrity on a watershed basis by providing consultancy services. In recognition of their outstanding contributions and achievements, the scientists of the research center have been honored with several prestigious awards. The center has undertaken several outreach programs to create a mass awareness about the technologies related to the conservation of soil and water 
through field demonstrations, Farmers Day, National Resource Conservation Week, National Science Day, etc. The research center at Vasad Gujarat under the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute Dehradun is actively working to tackle the problems of depleting natural resource base in the Mahi Ravine system effectively through the development of appropriate technologies for reclamation and the efficient utilization of ravine lands and for increasing the livelihood security of resource-poor farmers in this arid and semi-arid Mahi Ravine region.